Right, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some Arabic calligraphy and using a website. Okay, so this is a very nice website. So if you just type in your web address, it's called sketchpad.io. So once you type in sketchpad.io, you get this really nice uh, application, online application. So you can see you've got different, different brushes here. There's tools here. Um, so I want to do obviously Arabic calligraphy, so I'm just going to uh, uh, do calligraphies one. But if you click on this brush, uh, this feather, you can see there's lots of things you can actually use to do drawing with. Uh, so I'm going to keep it as feather. And so if I start off with writing my name in Arabic, I start off with a meme. So if I do a nice round meme there. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to come all the way around to make the year also. So you can see, okay. So you have your meme and you have the year. So we need the dots now, the two dots for the year. I'm going to draw the first one first. I'm going to do a nice diamond looking one. So you have one. And what I'm going to do. There's two ways to do this. You can actually click on these layers and can copy the layer, or you can just use the pointer, click on the actual drawing, okay, move it to a side first, position it, click again, right click, and copy, and then right click, paste. So you get a copy of the the dot. So you have two dot now. I'm just going to shift this one towards the little bit left and right you go left this one a bit and then you have your yard there the next thing what I want to do is basically I want to uh, get my feather again and I want to do the za so I'm going to try and do the, draw the za okay and start here and go up a little bit and come down oh the way down and then I'm going to make a sharpen up a little bit here this way there you go so I have it looks like a raw at the moment so obviously I need the dot to make it za right click copy and right click paste and then I have my dot I can use the same dot I just leave it there there you go it looks like za now okay so the next letter I want to do is Alif, so go back to my feather again, and I'm going to do one straight line here. Go all the way down, straight line, keep it straight. Okay, straight line. And that looks good. A little bit more, okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of touch of this pointy bit, it's sort of look like an Alif. Okay, so I've got a nice Alif there. The next that I need is actually noon to complete my name, Izan. I'm going to start drawing noon here. Try and come all the way around. All the way around. Okay. Um, a little bit. Okay. Um, it, it's, it's good. Okay. Uh, but I'm not too happy about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the layer. And you, if you click on different, different layer, you have the layer that you can see on the right-hand side. Is actually uh, selecting the different different things. So I'm gonna just gonna select the noon, and I'm just gonna delete that. If you can press, you can press delete, and it will delete the whole whole layer. Or you can, if you click on it, and then you click on this, and then you can see the delete button. So if you click on this, they will delete it. So you can just draw it again. Now go back to the uh, uh, brushes again. The, get the feather, and I'm gonna try draw the noon again. Okay, let's see if I can do it right this time around. Okay. Go all the way around, come up again, try and make it round. Okay, that's I think that's good enough. That should be okay, I think that's good enough. But we need the dot to make the noon. Okay, so you can just copy the dot and then paste. Okay, and take the dot inside the noon. And that looks good looks of course I'm not going to color it but you can do lots of other things with it you can have you know different colors and you can do lots of lots of interesting things 
But we're just starting. Let's see what happens. Okay.